Good afternoon everyone, F4H Rosso here, back with another GT Sport video. Today it is slightly different and slightly unfortunate. We're going to cover something today that is one of the age-old questions in, well, not just games, but sports, life in general. Cheating, when is, is it or isn't it acceptable? In today's Daily Race B, we have Group B at the streets of Willow Circuit and I in originally intended on doing a video on that combo today just because it is something extremely different. We don't tackle streets of Willow very often, in fact we haven't tackled it ever and also we don't do Group B, group B very often so a, a, a bit of a different combo. And so I started lapping, I started uh, putting some, uh, some times down in the uh, Audi Quattro and I noticed that I couldn't get anywhere near the leaderboard times, anywhere close. In fact, I'm currently, as it stands, 12 seconds slower than the number one time. So I thought I'd do a little bit of investigating uh, and see exactly what, what was cracking off, see where I was losing so much time. So we had a little bit of an investigate of the leaderboards. And the first thing that I noticed is that the names on the leaderboards aren't particularly people that I would associate with top 10 times, people that I've not seen before. And also, uh, the driver ratings, bar pretty much one person, uh, they're, they're all below A or B. So it was a very interesting um, start. So I had a look at, uh, at the replays, and we're going to have a look at one together now. I won't spoil it for you. Uh, but they're uh, very interesting, shall we say. The the laps start as a normal lap would. You wouldn't be able to tell any different between uh, one of these laps or, or, or your own. Uh, so we're going to watch uh, this chaps here. I'm not going to name him. Obviously, I can't get rid of his name off the off the screen. Uh, but it, the, the, the aim of the video isn't to shame people. I mean, it's, in my opinion, unfortunate that things like this happen in, in a competitive game. But... For some people, they're going to take pretty much any advantage that, that they can. I mean, it's it's nice to see that the, the people that you would expect to be at the top of the leaderboards haven't gone to this level to uh, to, to compete, which is, I guess, uh, the, one, uh, the one saving grace you can take out of the situation. But we're heading into the second half of the lap, and as I say, it's an entirely normal lap up until now. It's, no different to what you would expect. I mean, the circuit is absolutely horrendous. I'll just throw that out there right now. The worst circuit on the game. Um, but we've gone through this fast flowing section. I'm going to slow down into this left hander, and this is where things take a turn. Literally. We're going to cut across this middle section of grass, clip the finish line for a 104.4. Seems legit. So this is where things get super interesting and super unfortunate for people that choose to do things like the video. As recently as January, and this is according to uh, an article on GT Planet, Polyphony started a ban wave basically, taking action on cheaters that violated the terms of service within the game. It's a very vague statement, which basically covers Polyphony's ass, I guess. Um, basically meaning they can take any action they deem necessary. And for those people that were banned in January, it was a permanent ban, an online ban from the game. As far as I'm aware, you are physically unable to save your game. You cannot play the game online, which basically means you have zero access to the game in general. So is a punishment of having your game essentially bricked justifiable for people that choose to cheat online? I mean, it affects a very small proportion of the game. These people that have chosen to do this today will have fast times on the leaderboards but when it comes to a race will probably be slower or, or just as slow as people that have taken the track uh, you know in the, in the correct way unless this happens in a race I'm not sure if it does. Essentially what we're, we're saying is people have paid perhaps £60 for, for the game so to have that taken away from them for cheating online is that a justifiable end? Is it a justifiable punishment? Let me know in the comments below, and also let me know what you think of today's video, something a little bit different. be very interesting to see the debate and see where people stand on cheaters and uh, where the line is. But remember guys, with all those people that got banned in January, cheaters never prosper. I'll see you all soon.